right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to say, first off, Kahalayim, Kahalayim la Alahayinawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. All praise, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, who is our Lord, our Savior, and our Deliverer, Yahweh Shah. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this 100% truth. Through the, through the Holy Spirit, you know, via the scriptures, salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole foot lit, as well as my fellow laborers doing this work in all truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, as well as the, the, the aqua of listening and learning, man, and, and uh, the speckled bird, you know, who whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. We are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Seminole and Native Americans. Okay. We are, uh, you know, we are the Lord's chosen people, man. And um, we were given this thing, as the apostles called it, this thing of ours, which is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. It's truth. These law, statutes, and commandments, they're only for us because we are <clears throat> a peculiar people unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. All right. But um, we have to understand that, um, um, you know, the Lord has established order. Everything is supposed to be uh, done in uh, decently and in order. But as of right now, things are off. Things are not in order. But soon enough, man, things are going to be put back into order when Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah returns and sets that order back in place. Okay, but concerning this truth, concerning this ministry and uh, doing this work, there also has to be order. And, okay, and um, as you can see, the title of my uh, my lesson, Apply Your Portion. And that's going into your portion of faith, your portion of works, your portion of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding given to you by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Okay, we are all, we are all single people, man. We are all individuals who are given our own portions in many aspects. But concerning this truth, we are all given our own portion of faith. You know, we are given uh, what the Lord knows we can handle. Okay, the Lord is not going to give us um, you know, more tribulation than we can handle. Likewise, the Lord is not going to give us more work than than He knows that we can we can handle. That doesn't mean that um, one brother or, or one brother is is lesser than another brother. That just means that another brother has uh, more endurance or more um, tolerance, if you will, to do more. A brother is in a different uh, position than you. He has a, a a different portion, okay, depending on our lots. But um, nevertheless, man, you know, um, it's, it's a blessing as it is to be in this truth, you know, period, man. Whether you a help, whether you're providing um, water at camps, whether you um, making garments for brothers, whether you just being there. Uh, as a, a financial aid to brothers, man, whatever the case may be, if you are contributing to this work, you know, you contributing, uh, it's, it's the same as you contributing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But, you know, us, us brothers, us newer brothers who, who's, who's new to this truth, who's um, new in the faith, you know, we are not to try to, um, you know, haste above our portion, you know, uh, we are not to try to do more than we um than we are able, you know, if that makes sense. Okay, um, yeah, when we first come into this thing, man, we, we look up to the apostles and the elders. Uh, we look at the work that they've done. We look at the the uh, experience that they have. We look at the places they've been. You know, but you know, when we come in this thing, man, we have to we have to renew our minds. We can't look at things the same way we did in the world. This is not like sports, man. You can't come in and, and try to and try to um, you know outdo someone who's been in this thing longer than you, man. You have to have respect. You have to have um, you have to be meek and humble in this thing. 
you know, first and foremost, man, we we not we ain't nothing, okay? Because this this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding was given to us as a gift, as a blessing by Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah. So we dare not come into this truth and think that we 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 do any kind of glory. Okay, we would not do any kind of glory or any kind of credit, man. All the credit. That's why we, man, that's why the first thing we say, man, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah, because that's who all the credit goes to. Okay, we will get our credit from Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah in due time if we endure, if we remain uh, steadfast in this work, man. But we have to focus on maintaining you know that will you know, holding fast to that which we have so that no man take our crown all right but us younger brothers who coming into this thing man we have to do what we can man whatever we can contribute do that whatever we can bring to the table man bring it with all all our soul all our might because we doing this thing for a reason man but you know, I'm not gonna do too much talking, man. Um, let me get these scriptures. This is Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Okay, and this is the first thing we we need to do when we come into this truth, because you can't you can't come into this truth with with pride. You can't come into this thing thinking that you don't do no wrong or that you can't be rebuked or you can't be reproved. You no, know, we, we this ain't what this about. That ain't what this is about, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua is dealing with the lowly, the meek, the humble. Okay, yeah, we are men, us men doing this work. Okay, the women know, you know, the women know what they supposed to be doing. They supposed to be uh, silent, of course. But this is particularly talking about the men who's doing the work, who's out there on the highways and hedges. Or if those bro if it's brothers who are not out there on the highways and hedges, the brothers who are making videos or who may just be watching videos or lessons. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Okay, so if you call into this truth, if the Lord calls you into this ministry and opens your eyes and your ears to, to receive this truth, that's not the end, man. That's only the be that's the beginning, man. Because you can easily be cast out, okay? You can easily become a reprobate if the Lord sees that you're not, okay? That's why in the scriptures it says wisdom trieth you, okay? Wisdom is going to try you. you. You're given a certain amount of wisdom, okay? And with whatever you do with that wisdom... You know, the Lord will bless you with more Depending on how you go about What you were given So we have to be patient We not supposed to haste above What we were given, man Okay, and Lord willing, man Yahweh Ratazah This lesson is edifying This lesson is um, exhorting And uh, motivational and inspirational as well, man This is, you know, this is not a rebuke or anything like that This is only for for um, inspiration, man, to, to the younger brothers coming in Because, you no, know, this goes for myself first and foremost Okay, but we need to examine ourselves, man Whether we be in the faith Okay, because, you know, in the Apocrypha The scriptures the scriptures say that um, um, When you come Matter of fact, let me get it Okay, this is uh, Sirach chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right, so when we come into this thing, that's part of uh, examining yourself, man. You, you know, you need to examine yourself first and foremost, and um, you need to see what's good for your soul. And what you need to you need to examine what's acceptable of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah. Okay, because when you come into this truth, man, and, and you start going off again, man, you're gonna receive more stripes. More strikes, I should say, Salaki. Alright, so we, we need to examine ourselves and see what's what's uh, expedient for us, man. 
what, what pleases Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. We're not here to please uh, ourselves. We're not here to please uh, the next man. This ain't about us at all, man. We doing the Lord's work. Okay, but unless you want to be a reprobate uh, or cast away, you know, you need to examine, you constantly examine yourself, man. Whether you um, fresh, new in this thing or whether you've been in this thing a couple years, you, you always have to examine yourself. And remind brothers to do so as well, man. Because, you know, if we if we all believe in the same thing, we calling on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we care for one another as we care for ourselves, as we were told to do. So we're going to always reprove and rebuke our, rebuke our brothers so that they may stay on point as well. All right. Second Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth all right so we need to always be studying so that we may show ourselves approved unto yahweh by hashem yahweh okay when we reading okay the scriptures say blessed is he is he that readeth we need to be reading but like the elder uh manata zakba down there in south carolina say man you know you don't only need to read but you need to you need to um as the man that's the spirit man because I just uh, seen a video earlier of the elder man. He and he spoke on, um, you know, us not only uh, needing to read, but we need to like look up words. We need to we need to look into words. We need to break down, um, you know, phrases. Look at the uh, the words in different languages. All right, we need to look up um, articles yeah, and videos if possible. We need to we need to look at this this truth you know these these scriptures as a whole you know in, in many aspects because these scriptures are manifold and it's not only one meaning to these words we need to we need the whole understanding all right and, and like i said that's the spirit because it says rightly dividing the word of truth and that's how you rightly divide the word of truth that's how you rightly teach this word is when you when you go into it from many angles when you explaining something, you know, um, just look at it like if you have a teacher, if you in school and you have a, and you have uh, two different teachers who teach the same subject, but you like one teacher better because the teacher you can relate, uh, or a lot, the teacher can relate to you because he knows your language, you know, he knows how to uh, how to uh, communicate with you, and um, he, he uses different words that you understand as opposed to. Another teacher who's just using all a bunch of big words, you know, trying to think, trying to make uh, people think that he's smart. No, it's not about that, man. We have to break this thing down, man. Write, write it, write these words plain upon table so that he may run that readeth. Okay, we have to rightly divide this word of truth, man. Is it to the best of your ability? Philippians two and twelve. Wherefore, my beloved. As he always obeyed, as he have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, and this is this is going into you know. Hey man, we're not pleasing men, man. We're not trying to impress nobody. We're not trying to uh, outdo nobody. This is not a competition, man. We are we supposed to be of one mind, of one mouth, of one uh, body. Contributing towards the same thing, man. But we doing it, uh, you know, for ourselves. Of course, first and foremost, we doing it for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> this is our reasonable service, okay. And we love doing this work. We really love doing this work, man. I'm gonna speak for myself, but I know it's other brothers out there who can relate, man. We love going out there on the highways and hedges. You know, can't wait till uh, till next Saturday, so we can go out there, congregate with the brothers. Catch up, chop it up, and, and uh, ultimately, man, spread this truth, this knowledge. All right, because we, you know, we we want the elect to be sealed, and we want, um, you know, more than anything, we want uh, to be a part of that elect number. We want to be a part of that one third that's going to be delivered. Okay, that's why it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. We're supposed to, to bet to the best of our abilities, um, you know, while we're doing this work. You know, that's just one part of it. But we supposed to, you know, um, we supposed to, to practice, you know, we supposed to um, rehearse the, the, the righteous acts 
keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. You know, we're supposed to, um, you know, observe the high holy days, pray, fast. You know, keep. You know, we're supposed to keep watch. We're supposed to blow that trumpet, man. Let our brothers know if, when they're going off. You know, let them let them know about their transgressions, their iniquities, so that our they blood may be off our hands if they continue in their iniquity. But we don't. We we working on our own salvation, man. We want to be delivered ourselves. We can't save nobody else. The only one who can save us is Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. We can't even save ourselves. But the thing is, we're not going to leave our brothers and sisters alike, you know, out there uh, hanging. We're not going to leave them out, you know, dry, high and dry. We're going to tell them what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh expects, what to do, what not to do. And then we're going to keep it moving, man. If, if you if you uh, taking heed, if you um, receiving the word, then, hey, you know, we can walk together because we agree. But if not, we're going to keep it moving. Especially in these times, man. These are the latter days. The time is speeding up. We don't have time for no BS. We don't have time for no fickleness. We don't have time for no uh, wishy-washy. Uh, no, none of that. All right, Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling of election sure. Okay, and that's that, that goes hand in hand with... Uh, working out your salvation with fear and trembling, man. We, we doing this work and we, we keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities in these mortal bodies so that we may, um, you know, make our calling of uh, calling an election short. Okay, we, we giving that due diligence. We being st steadfast as steadfast can get. Okay, and we, we, we minister and we, you know, we trying to, we trying to do this work. You know, we trying to, um, you know, do, contribute whatever we can to the best of our abilities, man. Okay, so, so that we may be found blameless when Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh returns. Yeah, all right, continuing on, it says, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay, so it's a, it's a benefit, man, like the Lord. First of all, no, the Lord could have just told us to do this, do this work, or, or that's our ass. <clears throat> but the Lord is, is, is very merciful, very gracious to his people that he loves. Okay, and, and, and you know, not only was we, we, we called back into, the, into remembrance of ourselves and our power, but it's a reward for doing this work. It's a reward for, for coming back and... Um, and uh, doing doing our due diligence, man. Doing our our uh, performing our, our reasonable service, you know, presenting our bodies, living sacrifices out there in the elements, on the highways and hedges. All right, when we when we uh, you know, praying for other brothers, which is all genuine, it's all sincere. Okay, but the Lord delights in that. The Lord delights in brotherly love. Okay, uh, you know, being uh, showing charity being charitable not grudging against your brother all right the lord delights in these things verse 11 for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our lord and savior yahweh shod the anointed all right so in doing these things and being diligent in doing your best and trying to you know and, and trying to make your um, calling an election short, you know, hey, we, 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 we man, we look, we gotta go through hell. Don't think it's easy, okay? We, we, we wanna, we, we following the straight gate, okay? And that straight gate is the narrow path, the, the path seldom, seldom um taken. There's not many who, who's, who's choosing this route that we going through, because it's gonna get worse, man. Jacob's trouble is around the corner. Literally, man, this is about to get ugly. Okay, but we, we, we have to be diligent, man. We have to be steadfast. All right, 1 Corinthians 14 and 26. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you hath a song, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation? 
all right let all things be done unto edifying okay we need to be speaking the same things we need to be calling on the same name Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah we don't need to be all over the place man because you know just look at it like okay if, if this is a if we are one spiritual body, which is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, if, if if us doing this work, we all one body. If if a part of the body is off, you're gonna know, and you gonna you gonna correct it. You are gonna do what you can to correct it, man. You're gonna take actions to 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 get that part of the body in order. And if it don't, you know you have to you have to. Um, you know, you have to get rid of it so that the body may flow and, uh, and, and remain healthy, man. In Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know, likewise, if you if you have a a band or if you have a um, a, you know, a, a, a orchestra, if I'm if I'm saying that right, and if uh, you know all of the instruments, they are playing in sync. You know, it's, it's that synchronicity. They are simultaneously playing these these different notes. Okay, everybody is playing different notes on different instruments, but it all comes together to make this one beautiful sound. You know, likewise us, man, we singing this new song. Okay, we singing the we singing this new song, which is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, but we all we all have different. Um, you know, uh, some some brothers may have better vocals, so to speak. Uh, one brother may hit the, uh, the the soprano, another one that uh that falsetto. You know, you got somebody over there on the harp. Okay, we this is the new song though. We all we singing the same song, but we have different uh, instruments, different um, voices to contribute to this song. All right, but but all things are going to be done to edify, to edify the body. We edify one another. You know, believe it or not, man. I mean, it's not a secret. The uh, the apostles and elders they say it. You know, but they watch younger brothers. This is why. But this is why. Um, you know, the order was out that there's no new members uh within Great Millstone, because, man, this thing has to be tightened up, especially now, man. Especially now, there's too much weird shit going on. There's too many agents. There's too many false brethren. You know, trying to creep in unawares is too many. It's too much. At the at this point, you know, you you seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You can still, you know, like the uh, the elders, like the apostles and the elders saying, man. You know, you can still follow. <clears throat> but as far as putting uh, GMS on your name, that's out because we coming into a time of we coming to we coming into the time of Jacob's trouble where this devil is about to. And by this devil, I mean Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He is about to to um, make that big accusation against the Israelites, man. You Hebrew Israelites. And, and it's about to get ugly, man. That's why, hey, you need to uh, examine yourself whether you be in the faith, man. Because this, this accusation that's coming upon us. You know, hey, especially um, you know, within great men. Say that humbly, okay. But you no know, Israelites, period, man, is about to be demonized on a on a national scale. All right, but this is um, Psalms one nineteen and verse one. Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Okay, so whether you in Great Millstone or not. Or whatever camp you may be in, man. If you diligently seeking the Lord, if you're seeking the Lord with your whole heart, man, your whole mind, your whole being, your whole soul, the Lord is gonna read. The Lord knows our hearts, man. The Lord knows our souls. He know our works. Whether you no, know, whatever your handle is, whatever you representing, you know, ultimately you representing yourself. The Lord is gonna know if you are genuine, sincere person or not all right and, and you know it says you no know, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua so if you if you diligently seeking the Lord man keeping the Lord's 
uh, you know, testimonies and his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You know, praising the Lord's name. You know, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shah, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shah. The Lord knows if he's genuine or not. This is Sirach 4 in chapter 20, uh, verse 28, Sirach. Uh, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. All right, so, man, yeah, you know, we knew in this thing, and, and, and you know, we don't have, um, per se, as much time as the apostles and the elders before us had, because you can feel it, you can see it, the time is very much being sped up. The days are being shortened, okay? But we don't, you know, that, that nevertheless, man, we supposed to put in the same work, man. Okay, if anything, man, it's, it's more pressure on us because of the time, because of the lack of time, I should say. Us newer brothers, man, it's like we, we, we playing catch up, but we not playing catch up because the Lord brought us into this thing at, at the, the, the perfect moment according to his will. Okay, we could have been brought into this thing at the age of 12, but the Lord didn't see fit for that. We had to go through things. We had to experience things within our lives. Okay, and, and, and the Lord, when the Lord was ready to, he, he woke us up to this truth at the, at the exact moment he wanted to. But nevertheless, man, we're supposed to strive for this truth, man, to death, man. If we have to, if we have to become martyrs for this truth, so be it. Just prepare your soul for that temptation that's coming, man. That, that and that, that major temptation, that our temptation, being the mark of the beast, man, which is that RFID microchip, is coming. <clears throat> okay, and, and the scriptures say, man, if you take that chip, man, you will be, you will be destroyed. There is no repentance for that. So you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Seminole, and Native Americans, Native Indians, Salaki, don't take that microchip, man, that mark of the beast. Okay, but back to the point, man, this is uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right, so what, we, what are we hoping for? What, what is our faith in? All right, first of all, our faith is in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, that he's going to deliver us. Our faith is that, our faith is in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah delivering us. Our faith and our hope is to be a part of that elect. So that we may be delivered from, from this place when it, you know, ultimately when it gets destroyed. But what did it say? Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Alright? For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. What did it just say? Okay? Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Okay, and you have to diligently seek the Lord. Prove your soul. All right. And we will be rewarded. And there's a scripture for that. And let me get that later. But yeah, man, when we come into this truth, man, we, hey, whatever portion we give it, man, we got to work it. We have to, we have to, you know, uh, to the best of our ability, man, contribute. Whatever, whatever knowledge, wisdom, and understanding we was given, spread it, pass it on, okay? Apply it. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 3 and 21. Seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. <laughs> All right, and this is manifold, man. This can be talking about many things. All right, don't try to, you know, I'm not going to get into the other things. Things this this can be talking about. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick to the point, man. But you know, seek not out the things that are too hard for you. Like you know, you see the uh, um, the, the, elder, the apostles and the elders what they do. You know, for example, the uh, the elder the elder Kazak down there in Mississippi. You know, that's a very diligent brother, man. When you know when you watch his lessons, you know that brother got fire. He got that zeal, and he he edifies. He brings uh, a lot of information out. The, uh, the elder Manata Zakba, South Carolina. Very, uh, you know, a lot of edification comes out of his lessons, but he'll tell you himself, man. You know, when he started out, he had to, he had to read, he had to study. It wasn't always like that. 
you know, them, these, them brothers is seasoned. Okay, but when you come into the truth, you have to realize also, they only kids in this thing, man, when it comes to this truth. Okay, we, we, we become men at the age of 12, 13. Them brothers been in the truth, uh, you know, 11, 12, 13 years. Okay, they still, they still babies in this thing, man. And we, we you know, mere seeds. All right, so, you know, hey, you know, hey, we still, we still babies in this thing, man. We still have a lot to, a whole lot to learn. Okay, but boy, whatever we did learn, man, whatever we have, first of all, hold fast to it, man, and apply it, man. Okay, you still a part of the body. You still in this truth. Apply what you know. You are not lesser than the next brother. Whether it be the elder or the apostles, man. Yes, we give our, our honors to them. Because they have put in that work, man. They have paved the way. Okay, but ultimately, man, this is this is we doing the Lord's work. That's just how the Lord, that's the order that the Lord set up for the apostles to go out there and, and, and you know bring this word out. All right, you, you still see uh, Apostle Gabar and Apostle Ram Ariam Lab, you know, Apostle Carl and the elders up under them still giving diligence. You know, still doing their part. They still respect Apostle Tahar. They still give honors to you know to Apostle Tahar, Apostle Tahar. Even though they they've been in this thing almost just as long, but it's all about order, man. We have to have order and respect, and 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 we be humble, man. Second Corinthians ten and twelve. For we dare not make ourselves of the number, or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. So, yeah, it's man, to hell with all that comparing and, um, you know, competing shit. You know, that, that's immature and that's ultimately, man, that's you off, man. That's not what this truth is about. This is not no competition. This is not a competition. We all Israelites. We all, you know, uh, are... are of the chosen people, man, but we want to be a part of the elect. That's what it's all about, man. We we want to, you know, do all things unto edifying. Make sure that we bring the forth edification and exhortation to the best of our abilities, man. We don't want no type of glorification or credit, man, unless it's by Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. But we have to earn. We not competing. We not, uh, you know. Comparing amongst each other. That's off, man. Third, uh, verse 13. But we will not boast of things without our measure. But according. It's a lot. But according to the measure of the rule. Which Yahweh hath distrib distributed to us. A measure to reach even unto you. For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure. As though we reach not unto you. For we are come as far as you also, and as far as you, Salah. For we are come as far as to you also in preaching the gospel of Hamashiach, not boasting of things without our measure, that is, of other men's labors, but having hope when your faith is increased, that we shall be enlarged by you according to our rule abundantly, <clears throat> to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you. And not to boast in other man's lines, in other man's line, in other man's line of things made ready to our hand. All right, so we're not gonna worry about what the next man doing. <clears throat> okay, but um, of course, it's, it's levels to that, you know. It, it, when it comes to you know handling your camp, if you be a brother out there who who um is the head of a camp, of course you're supposed to keep your camp in line. You know the brothers in your camp. You know, you want everything to be in order, everything, um, you know, according to Yahweh Baha Shemiah Shah's heart. You want everything to be in order, of course. <clears throat> but when it comes to another man, um, you know, what he's doing and how much work he's putting in or, or how he prophesies or, you know, all of that, you don't, you, don't, you don't get into all that, man. You don't compare yourself and boast yourself. 
All right, if you're going to boast, boast in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Verse 16, to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not to boast in another man's line of things made ready to our hand. But he that glorieth, let him glory in, in the Lord. For not he that commendeth himself is approved, but whom the Lord commendeth. All right, so that's who we want um, you know, to commend us. That's who we want to um, glorify us. We want the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, to glorify us. We don't want the glorification of men. We don't want to glorify other men. And we're not going to do that. All right? And what the scriptures say, a mighty man is not saved by much strength. Well, likewise, uh, you know, if you if you a brother out there who know a lot of scriptures, you know, you can bring out precepts, you know, you, you're still not to boast. You're still to remain humble. You just, you know, thank Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah that he's giving you that portion. He's giving you that ability to do so. All right. This is First Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. As every man hath received the gift. Even so, minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of, of Yahweh. All right, so, hey, whatever gifts we was given, man, hey, use it within the body. Use it to contribute to the ministry. Don't boast in your, don't boast yourself. All right, because, hey, you, that, that pride, hey, a proud look is something that the Lord hates. All right, don't be walking around like, yeah, I, I know this, I know that. I'm breaking these precepts down. Yeah, I'm bringing it out. The Lord will take that oil right from you, man. <clears throat> Especially if you're a newer, younger brother, man. Hey, stay in your lane. Like like the uh, like the elder Ariala, man. He had, um, you know, did a, a in transit. Um, I'm not sure it's. I forget the exact title of the lesson, man, but it's something along the lines of, uh, you know, staying in your lane. <clears throat> and you do, we do have lanes. And we understand that, man. It's not a, a a macho man competition. We have to stay in your lane, man. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15. But speaking the truth and love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Hamashiach. All right, so Hamashiach is the head. He is the body, the spiritual body. All right, verse 16, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by, by that which every joint supplies, every, no, that's a lot, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. All right, so... We are different parts of, of one body, man. We fit together, uh, you know, with Yahweh Shah being the head. Okay, but we are all the other parts of the body. But that don't mean uh, because one brother may be the ear, you know, figuratively speaking. Um, and another, mother, or another brother may be a foot. That don't make you more or less important than the other brother. All the parts of our bodies work together. That's why all the parts themselves, yeah, they're separate, yeah, they're particular parts, but they all make up the body. Romans 12 and verse 3. For I say, though the grace, though the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think. Yeah, and, and the scripture. When a man thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. All right, so just, you know, whatever portion you give him, man, just, you know, thank you, how about Hashem, you daily, that, that, you know, you're still able to retain that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and that you're able to, to understand these scriptures, man, because there's a lot of people who don't understand these scriptures, or even worse, you know, had the understanding of these scriptures, but they fell out. You know, they fell off. They, they went back into the world. And that can be anybody. You know, even me. You know, Yahweh Ratzazah, that, that don't happen. 
but at the same time, I, I keep that in mind. You know, I, I thank the Lord that I'm able to still notice this word. You got people preaching one day and scoffing the next day. And it's heavy judgment about to go out, man. So, hey, you know, lay up your treasures in heaven, man. The, the best way you can, as much as you can, with what you got. It says, um, but to think soberly, according as Yahweh hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. So, yeah, so whatever measure of faith you was given, man, use it. And use it wisely. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Yeah, the toe don't do the same thing as the finger. Your ear don't do the same thing as your nose, but it's still important. It says, so we being many are one body in Hamashiach, and every one members one of another. All right, so we all contribute to each other somehow. Having, verse 6, having then gifts deferring according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. All right, that's plain. Whatever amount of faith you was given, man, no, A. Hey, and whatever portion you, you, or whatever lot you was made to do, or, or, or be in, it's a lot. You know, whether you are a prophet, a help, um, you know, you you working with the herbs, you know, whatever, man. Do it to the best of your ability, man. Verse 7, or ministry, let us wait on our ministry, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that rule, ruleth with diligence, and he that soweth mercy, he that soweth mercy, it's a lot. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Alright? And I'm going to uh, close out after this. This is 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. All right, verse 4. There are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Alright, and that spirit is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh We all are supposed to come in the same spirit. But whatever um, tools, whatever gifts, whatever um, attributes we have, our personal attributes, we bring that forth and, and to the body. And we contribute it to the ministry. We apply our portion. All right, verse 5. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. We all serve in the same Lord, man. We all serving Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh to the best of our abilities, man. We all looking for mercy. We all looking for deliverance and salvation. Why are we gonna boast ourselves? No, we gonna you know whatever the Lord gave us, we gonna we gonna use it. Alright. Verse six, and there are diversities of operations, but is but is the same power which worketh all in all. Verse 7, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. All right, so if you are a quote unquote lesser brother, which you really not lesser, you know, if you just have a, a smaller portion or, you, or you're newer, okay, you're still an important part of the body. You still, uh, you know, are, um, you still a, a functioning member of a of a whole of a whole thing of a whole uh, being. All right, because everything that was given to us, whether larger or small, okay, it was given to us to profit. Some people wasn't given nothing. All right, verse twenty three, and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. All right? You know, just look at it like, you know, of course, we don't want to lose no parts of our body, and I'm not 
in any kind of way trying to speak that into existence but just as a um, uh, kind of like an example you know if, if somebody lose their toe yeah they're gonna be hurt you know that, that don't nobody want to lose their toe that's going to affect you drastically. That's going to affect the way you walk. You know, it might affect the way you jump. You know, when you put on your shoes, that's not going to, it's not going to feel the same. Okay, but you have little bones in your ear. You know, let's say you one of those little bones in your ear broke. It'll cause you major pain. You know, or, or if you, if it somehow got cut off in an accident or something and you lose a little bone in your ear, you know, it can affect your hearing. It can affect, uh, you know, because we have um, nerves in our heads and in our, you know, all throughout our body, man. Okay, you can hit a small nerve on your body, but it bring pain to your whole body. All right. If that, if that was a, a proper um, an analogy. All right, verse 24. For our comely parts have no need, but Yahweh hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. All right, so the, the lesser parts, so to speak, or the the brothers who was given um, a lesser portion, they're given, uh, they're bestowed a more abundant honor by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. The Lord still, uh, you know, looks on you as a, an important part of the body. Verse 25, <clears throat> that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. All right, so we're not looking down on each other. We're not uh, glorifying the next man. No, no, none of that. No, we, of course, we, we, um, we give due credit. Yeah. No, we, um, no, we uh, acknowledge brothers for their works and things like that. But we not. It's, it's not glorification. It's not. Um, it's not a. You know, we not trying to put them on a pedestal or nothing like that. Likewise, uh, another brother who may not get as many views. We not been like, oh, he ain't doing what he supposed to be doing, or he ain't. He ain't teaching right, because you know, some brothers may not get no views, but they they, you know, they uh, through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, they bringing out some fire. They're they're edifying. They doing what they supposed to do. They doing his work. All right, verse twenty six. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. All right, that's plain. Now ye are the body of Hamashiach, and members in particular. All right, so we all of one body, man. Of, uh, up under Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, man. We all doing this work for the same thing, but we all contributing in different ways. All right. I thought that was the last scripture, but this is the last one. First Corinthians, fifteen and fifty-eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. All right, so hey, according to our works, we will be we, we will be repaid. We will we will be rewarded. All right, so you know that that still don't mean try to try to haste above. Just you gonna destroy yourself, man. Don't try to you know move too fast. Okay, this is a a, a marathon rather than a a um, a, a, a race. <clears throat> As far as um, a fast race, a sprint. All right, we we running that we may obtain, man. You know, we want to obtain that incorruptible crown, that that immortality, man, that, that life everlasting. So whatever portion of faith faith you was given, man, whatever portion of works that the Lord bestowed upon you, do that work to the best of your ability, man. Just thank the Lord for for giving you the ability to do the work. The ability to, to present your body a living sacrifice, you know, giving you the ability to to understand these scriptures and, and um, you know teach if you if, if that be your lot, 
And if you're able to contribute to the to the ministry, man, to the body at all, man, it's a blessing. All right, but, but Lord willing, man, this lesson was was edifying first and foremost. And um, Lord willing, also it was motivating and inspiring. And uh, hopefully I got my point across. And um, <clears throat> I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kagwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole full leg. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kagwadash. Rock a thumb to you, you brothers out there doing this work and sisters who taking heed, you know. Shalom.